Good morning and welcome to day 42 of 100 Days of Minecraft. The coast isn't completely clear. I saw a couple skeletons there, but at least there are no creepers. So, I worked on this a bit overnight. And uh, I've laid out some wiring here to shut off these torches. And I should say that and, oh, up here, see, I've got the redstone, but no uh, repeaters, <laughs> because I had to dig under them, which caused the sand to fall, which caused the repeaters to fall off, which means I have to rewire that. Anyway, as I was saying, I am narrating this after the fact. While I made this, I kind of had a nervous breakdown because uh, in this episode I get very confused. The wiring here is very difficult. I need to get these four torches switched off unless they're activated by me stepping on the pressure plate and for some reason that was very difficult for me. Okay, so now everything is unpowered. And the torches are all on except for this one. This one is off because there is a, a lit redstone torch on the ground feeding into it. So it's hard for me to reconstruct exactly what I was thinking. Most of the problems uh, that I had in this episode were later resolved, and so I'm not in that mindset anymore, but... Okay, so here we have um, two of them are off, two of them are on. And uh, actually, you may not even want to watch this episode, it's, it's kind of hard to take and I don't make much progress, but since the format of this show is to document every single day, I, um, I can't just skip it. Hopefully there won't be many more episodes like this. Okay, now this is what I wanted. They're all off. So when I remove this torch, they should all go on because they're no longer receiving power from anywhere. And I have no idea why I just did that. There. And here is where the nightmare really begins. I really started freaking out at this point. There's no power feeding into the redstone, but the redstone is still lit. I didn't know that was possible. Apparently, the repeaters slow things down so you can create a loop. There we go. I've at least interrupted it. And so the, the power just flows around um, forever in a circle even though the original source is removed, and I don't think you can do that in real life. I don't think you can unplug a device from electrical current and have it still run. So I spent some time puzzling over this, figuring out why it's happening and then what I can do to solve it. So, that's the problem with documenting every day. Some days I'm going to uh, be doing things that aren't very productive or long-term projects that take many days, like when I was uh, mining out that tunnel or when I'm uh, wiring up this redstone. But I'm, I'm getting near the halfway point, so I'm going to continue in this format and hopefully things will turn out okay. I've decided that after the hundredth day, I will go to the end and fight the Ender Dragon. 
So that will be the goal of, of this uh, show. So it has more focus. So 100 days of work. And then uh, at the end of day 100, I'll gather up all my potions and arrows and best armor and head to the end. And I'll fight the dragon until I either die or defeat it. Okay, so as I said before, I've got the torches switched off, which is what I want. But I want them to switch on when I step on a pressure plate. So, I mean, basically when I provide power. And right now they're off, but no power is being provided. I think probably the next day I, I will devote to other projects and maybe I'll just work on this at night in the future. And of course my inventory is full so I can't pick up the pressure plate. So when I remove this torch, the four raised torches should go on. Of course, they won't. And now I'm just sort of sitting here thinking about it, realizing how much time has passed and how I may get through the day without without really accomplishing anything. And so that's causing me to panic, which is causing me to think less clearly, which is why I am narrating this after the fact, because during the fact, I needed all my faculties <laughs> to try to devise some sort of solution. Here I am increasing the delay, so when I start providing power, I can maybe follow along the current as it moves slowly. However, that didn't help because the problem is that these already have a delay, which is causing the loop. So a longer delay doesn't change anything. What I need to do is not have uh, lines of redstone next to each other because that causes the loop so I, I need to separate them out more see I take it out no difference because the power hasn't stopped flowing so I put those back to normal Okay, take out the torch. Is there a difference? No, not yet. Although now, no, wait, yes, there is. All the torches are now on. And now one is on and three are off.
So I'm going to try going in on the left here. Of course, digging this out caused me to lose some more repeaters that were above it, but that's easily fixed. Okay. So now I have a straight shot, and there shouldn't be any kind of loop. And I guess I can get rid of this spider eye. So I can retrieve the pressure plate before it despawns. Okay, fingers crossed. Power is being supplied. All four torches are off. When I remove the torch, they should go on. Nope, power is still looping through here. Possibly because of what's going on at the end there. And it's starting to get dark, so there's not much more I'm going to be able to do for now. And it's probably good for me to stop and ponder a bit before moving on and, and working through the night. But I think I'm on the right track here. So... I'll work on it overnight and get back to you the next morning, and hopefully some things will have been solved. So, here I am, trapped. I don't know how I'm going to get out of here. And now, this is me, waving goodnight.